Well, I... Whoa! Why are we talking about this third person? Leg line. Wait, where did you... How do you know that? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Do you have an idea of what you've done? What's going on y'all, J Studio coming at you with another video, coming at you with this horror game called Interrogation. Basically with this game, you interrogate a little demon girl that's possessed. She basically lies to you the whole interrogation. You have to be able to pick out the lies and call her on her BS to win this game. It's actually a really interesting game. If you want to support this channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment on what game you want to see me play next. With that being said, let's do this. For the past few months, there's been this patient. She was a victim of abduction as well as a bizarrely unnatural homicide. She normally wouldn't be in our jurisdiction, but during her rescue, she attacked the police and tried to escape numerous times, which led to her being placed here in our care. Uh, and then there's her behavior. Family, me <coughs> family members reported she was acting differently, a total personality change. She never provided clear answers on what happened. Oddly, she suddenly made a request stating she was willing to finally talk. They put me in charge of the interrogation. I felt it would be a good idea to ask police for any evidence they were willing to share with me, given her history of being uncooperative with questioning. Thankfully, they had a binder containing some evidence they collected. Not all has been granted to me, but hopefully it'll be enough to finally get the truth on what happened. Well, before we get started, <laughs> Yo. Can you give me your name for the record, please. Oh, yeah, sure. It's, uh, Heather. My name's Heather. So she already sound like she lying. Uh, patient was a victim of an abduction. During a rescue, she acted out and assaulted, pol assaulted the police, heavily injuring a few officers. She was planned to be held temporarily while given therapy but after numerous at attempts to escape she continued attacking people around her she was committed to this facility patient has proven to be not completely honest with doctors many staff reported her claims and information as incorrect currently the patient seems to have no indication that she has any known disorders rather her constant line is in order to hide something due to frequent violent outbursts and escaped attempts She's been confined to a wheelchair during all the activities. So her name's Darcy. That's not what it says in your patient record. Oh, right, right. Heather's, uh, just a nickname of mine. It's Darcy. Sorry for the confusion. Stop you the cap! You around here, are you? Could you tell me what state? State? Uh, sure. It's Pennsylvania. Stop the cap! She lying. She lying about that. Watch. Officer responded to a 911 call about individuals entering an abandoned house. Upon entering the premises, officer found one living victim and the body of an unidentified individual. Judging the state of the two, it was estimated that they've been there for a few hours. The surviving victim has been restrained to a chair. She was conscious, cognizant, but would not answer any questions. The body was the body of an unidentified girl was discovered just a few feet from the survivor. Both. Individuals arrived at the same time based on the state of the clothing. The body was in an unnatural state. The entire body, including the limbs, were twisted, deformed, and was in a state close resembling late stages of decomposition. The identity has not been determined due to these factors following the survival following the survivor's rescue. She immediately assaulted officers present, leading to two police casualties due to severe injuries. The woman was quickly detained by medical support. The woman was quickly detained and medical support was called but she was uncooperative with questioning a one a virginia id was found on the scene so present staff will be looking into why she is here and notifying any family so she's from she's from virginia the police report says you're from virginia though ah oh, right sorry i always get pennsylvania and virginia mixed up you know stop the cat bro they are so close are you talking to me of your own volition yeah yeah of course I just want to give my side of the story. She lying. I, I like every word she's saying is a lie. Okay, so. All right. Thanks for that information. It's just a formality for the records. Yeah, it um seemed that way. Now, we don't have all the time in the world, so I won't bother you with going over the details. To keep it short, I need to ask you some questions about the university and your abduction. My... All right, that's fine. Go ahead. 
as I'm sure you remember, you requested this meeting. The police have provided me with a binder containing some of their evidence, which I'll be using to make sure you're taking this discussion seriously. They told me that you were quite uncooperative during initial questioning. It's just to make sure. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you for uh, agreeing to this. Be less okay. suspicious, bro. So, Be less suspicious. All, could you tell me a bit more about your experience at university? Yeah, yeah. I was abducted at Harbor University, which is where Harvard. I went to. Harbor. It was uh, fine. It's not as if my grades were bad or anything. I got on well, I guess. Until the um, abduction, of course. So she says she went to Harbor. Oh, shit. There's more. Oh, my God. Virginia father Alan Widow made a public sta statement on his plans to file a lawsuit against Harbor University on what happened to his daughter, claiming Harbor failed to assure safety of his daughter, clearly lacking any resemblance of a background check on their staff. A few weeks ago, Harbor University student Darcy Widow was abducted from the university and brought to an abandoned house on the 23rd West Street, where she was later found by police bound to a chair next to an unidentified human corpse. Complicating matters is that Darcy herself was shortly arrested for assaulting the officers on duty while making multiple escape attempts in custody. The father has stated that his daughter would never act like this and can only blame the university for no doubt letting her hang around the bad crowd with what I imagine with little to no oversight from staff. Alan Widow continued to mention that he will be taking this law lawsuit on alone, citing his own career history as a Virginia's most successful lawyer in his final statements for report. In his final statements to reporter if harbor thinks that they can get away with blatant disregard for a student's well-being they don't know what they don't know who they're messing with oh damn there's a lot of stuff okay so she did go to harvard she did go to harvard so it's a fairly big university with lots of fields and classes what did you major in my major um well i took a bachelor's degree so I took a lot of classes that weren't part of it, but it was, um, management. If you're just going to lie, you might as well just say, I don't remember or something. Um, she keeps, rep rec uh, she called herself Heather earlier. She, her major Your was literature. college records state that you majored in literature. Uh-oh. Um... I guess that was just a mistake. Stop the cat! Yeah, no, I majored in literature. My head's just kind of all over the place, you know? Did you make any friends during your time at university? Any strong relationships with anyone? I mean, of course. I had a couple of friends. Are you asking if I had a boyfriend or something? I'm asking if you're I single, never baby really girl. I had any strong relationships with anyone, to be honest. Mostly just, um, acquaintances. You single, baby girl? You single? So she says she didn't have a boyfriend or any close friends. James is a anthropology professor at the Harbor University. He's not known to show... He has not shown up to work in quite some time. He has failed to report these absences to the university. Neither the police or university ha staff have been able to get in touch with him. And the search of his home has not yielded any results. K-12 Heather at Harmon University. All right, I was able to get my hands on some plane tickets. Our flight is five days for now because I'd rather not risk staying here for so long. After what will happen, people will get suspicious. Whatever plan, whatever you have planned with her, I suggest taking care of it in the next few days and fast. Once we've taken care of any loose ends, we'll make our exit out the state. So James Murphy is the, the professor. And Darcy is the is this girl, right? These plane tickets seem to suggest otherwise. Those. Ah, right. Yeah. The. Yeah, those. Me and the professor weren't, um, super close, I guess. I wouldn't call it a strong relationship. She lying, really like bro. You lying through your teeth. Can you think of any reason why you might have been abducted? I honestly have no idea. I mean, it's not like I'm rich or anything. My parents don't um don't 
don't make too much money. Her dad's himself. a lawyer. I can't imagine they wanted something a successful like a lawyer ransom or anything. Okay, so I'm, I'm glad I read that because I she, her dad is a lawyer. Isn't your father a highly successful lawyer? Oh, uh, he is, isn't he? Well, I mean, I still wouldn't say that um he makes all that much. Were you responsible for the death of the other person in that room? What? No way, of course, I wasn't. Did you did you see what happened to that body? How could I have that caused body. that? If you're reading this, it means I'm gone. Everything I've involved myself in, I can only hope that I'm just dead. Any alternative is too chilling to consider all after. All I can offer is my deepest apologies for what I've done. The one that forced my hand in these awful deeds made me feel like I had no choice but to follow orders. I wish I could tell you everything, but even just writing this was a great struggle. I can only say this. It wasn't my choice. I hope to make this right. P.S. Hold on to this like your life depends on it. If you have any misfortune on confronting them, it may just aid you. Okay. Oh, I'm running out of time. Uh. Okay, I'm really running out of time. Let me stop. Go to the next question. When you were abducted, was there another person at the scene with you and the corpse? Um, it's a little hard to remember. But I'm pretty sure it was just me and the person during the uh, kidnapping. That's the truth because I remember reading there wasn't nobody else there. So were you involved in what happened? She looked um, pissed. Are you joking? I already told you. How could I have been involved in in that? Most people we you know are and don't attack the police and attempt to escape. You can't be serious. I was in shock. I had just been abducted, and there was a dead body. I wasn't thinking right. You don't seem to have been doing a lot of thinking right. You're still trying to avoid the police, and even after requesting this meeting, you continue to lie and mix yourself up with another person. Make it Talk make to sense, her. Darcy. Talk That's to her. Who you are. I'm starting to think you don't even know yourself. Look, look. I'm just uh not in the the right headspace. Just just give me a moment, and I swear I'll um. I'll tell you everything. Talk to her. Sorry, but I just don't have time to be led around with lies and excuses. I'll get one of the staff members to take you back to your cell and check back in a week. That should be enough time to get your thoughts straight. Wait, wait, hold on. I don't, I don't have a week. I need to talk to you now. I'm sorry, but our time is up. I, I can't, can't let, let you leave. leave. Whoa! What? What the? What the hell is going on? Sorry, but I don't have much time before it finds me. I need you right here, right now. What... what exactly are you? Well, I guess there's not much point in hiding it. I'm not exactly human. I suppose you could call me... an entity. One using this body to hide in your world. I'm losing control of my grasp on this reality, though. And I need your help to fix it. This motherfucker, demon bitch. Reading this means that you're now trapped in this thing's pocket reality. It won't let you leave until it gets what it wants. I couldn't explain why, but for some reason being confronted seems to break its hold. Just enough for the symbol to reveal the four word code phrase. When all four words are revealed, you... Say them out loud directly to it. Godspeed. Best of luck to you. Okay, so I need to get four words right here. Okay. You mentioned something trying to find you. What's trying to find you? Where I'm from, there are powerful beings that even I'm hesitant to describe. That even something like me shouldn't bother. But I did. And now it's after me. And I'm not just going to let it take me so i'm hiding from it i feel like that's a lie too all right so let's go to the next question what was the real reason behind your relationship with the professor he was just someone that knew about the world and was willing to help me i can't afford to get caught it's a far greater issue than you think I think she's lying about that because he says something about he had no choice. The professor's confession says something quite different. 
All right, so I had to do a bit of coercing, but still, he helped me prepare for rituals and events, as well as other things. I needed his help. I had to be assertive. Where is the professor now? He is no longer in this reality. He was taken to another. He screwed up during the last event while setting something up. Not sure if he could get back or not. That's probably a lie too. Okay, so I got a word. Chan right here. Okay, cool. Alright, so we, we making some progress. That's that sounds like a lie, but I can't find anything. What was the actual reason for this abduction? I wouldn't call it an abduction. No one was forced into it. It was just a ritual to help maintain my control and keep me hidden. He literally said he was forced into it. Hold on, he said he was forced into it. A local teenager returning from home late night with their friends witnessed a strange occurrence on the 23rd West Street. They reported seeing lights from an abandoned house. They passed by occasionally. The witness decided to investigate on the source of light, but was approached but as they approached the house, they heard a car driving in and decided to hide. The car parked in the abandoned house. Two people left, according to the witness statement. While the witness couldn't get a clear view of the people coming from the car, they did report that they heard the sound like a girl calling for help and could apparently, and could apparently see one of the figures try to cover her mouth while dragging her in the house. She said nope. Nobody was forced into it, so is it this? We have a witness who testified otherwise. That's, uh... Damn! Well, Damn. I was losing control of my body. I needed to be handcuffed so I could be taken care of. That's all. A misunderstanding. So what happened to that body? We ran out of time during the event. The being I'm hiding from, the hunter, got to her. And well... You see why I'm on the run. So apparently there's multiple endings on this game. Why? Was there a third person at the event anyway? It was just something the professor decided at the last minute. No reason for her to be there at all. That's a that's that's lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Gotta figure out what it is. I feel like that's a lie. There had to be a reason the third person was there. This email seems to say it was planned in advance. Well, I... Whoa! Why are we talking about this third person? They aren't important. Can't you see there are bigger things going on right now? Did you even know who that classmate was? Nobody important. Probably just one of the professor's students. I've got no idea who she might be, to be honest. Okay. So we got three. Chen, A, whatever, and whatever this is. So she says she doesn't know the girl. There has to be something that... Darcy submitted a complaint to the front desk about a student named Heather Baker. Both are currently paired together on an assignment at Professor Murphy's anthropology class. Darcy expressed his comfort with Heather, saying she seemed more interested in me than the assignment. Darcy said that she assumed that Heather is trying to be friendly and make small talk, but finds some of the questions unnerving. She went to say she didn't report it directly to Professor because she Professor because she didn't feel comfortable doing so, and also she didn't want to become him, enemies with Heather. So they had a class. These together. records seem to show that you two did a class assignment together. Plus, there was the confusion over names earlier. You called yourself Heather at first. I... Are you serious? How is this remotely important? Were you not listening when I said we don't have a lot of time? Listen, we are out of time. I'll need you to recite this incantation to hide me from the hunter. Legline. This is crucial. If the hunter gets me, it will have an opening into this world. It will destroy all life as you know it. No question. Hiding me will save the world. So I trust you know the right choice here. 
Boy, no what the hell? Else. Nothing else that can prevent this? There is no other way. You have to make the decision. So she wants me to say that. But I got all four words. So I can say this now, right? According to this, I can say this. Chan e fele oriba. Wait, where did you? How do you know that? Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. no, no. What? What happened? Is it over? Did I do it all right? That poor man was just like, did I do it all right? In the end, that thing vanished along with any danger it caused. I don't know if I made the right call, but I made the choice and I'm paying for it after everything that happened during the interrogation. The investigation actually went in. On what happened to the patient, of course, I was the prime sus suspect of her disappearance. There was no point telling them what really happened, who would believe me either way. Either way, what I said was irrelevant. Now, I'm a patient in the facility I work for, subject to countless interrogation, stuck in captivity. I'm left wondering, did I make the right choice or will it return? So that's the first ending. So there's five endings in this game. So what will happen if I just hit leave? Forget this. I'll leave them to someone else. I'm taking today off. Thanks for playing, I guess. <laughs> okay, so that was the first ending. We got the first ending and the fifth ending. Okay, so it's another ending you run out of time. Let me see. Because I didn't actually run out of time, but I was getting close to it. So now I'm curious. It's a fairly big university with lots of fields and classes. Damn. Something's just not right here. It doesn't add up at all, but I just can't see what's wrong. There must be more holes to point out, but... I'm sorry, but I can't continue like this. I'll get someone else to take over. So just wait here. I just couldn't f stay there anymore. Thankfully, I left and was able to find someone to fill in for me, but it seems as though he had no luck either. I was hoping I could return with a clear head, but was never going to happen just a few hours after the interview she was found dead with her body in the same state as the crime scene because that was ending four okay so we got we got ending one ending five ending four Leg line. okay so this time we're going to say are there no other options nothing else that can prevent this there is no other way okay so what would happen if I just didn't say the in the the thing? Let's hold. Let's say it. Let's say it. All right, fine. I'll say it. Leg line, curapathinadala. <laughs> my my thanks, thanks to you. you. <laughs> how 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 I've done all I can with the patient, but she still refuses to cooperate. This bitch she switched bodies with me, so Captain Ginyu. Don't disturb her. I'll be back with some staff to escort her back to her cell. This can't. This can't be. That's not me. Don't listen to it. That's not me you're talking to. Okay, so I think I, so that must have been ending four. So I need, only need ending two now. Those are my last words before the pain hit me. A pain so agonizing to even describe. Soon as following, soon followed my bones bending like they were made out of soft rubber. It was felt like my skin was being pulled in every possible direction. My skin, my last seconds on earth were torturous. All I can think about is whether this would be how I die or, or if I'll continue this horror wherever this thing is taking me. Okay, so. That was a bad ending. We just need the second ending now. So I'm wondering if it's just when I don't say the indentation or the ending, oh. but I don't say the the other thing either. Like I just say f this, I'm out. Listen, Leg okay. So this time, this is crucial. If the hunter gets me, it will have an opening into this world. It will destroy all life as you know it. No question. Hiding me will save the world. So I trust you know the right choice here. Are there no other options? Nothing else that can prevent this? There is no other way. You have to make the decision. 
Okay, so this time, let's just not do that. I don't know what I would click. <sighs> I suppose an action is a choice of its own. Sorry, but this is just too much to handle all at once. Well, at, at least I won't be alone in the inevitable suffering. Grab their shit. <laughs> Yeah, so this was the last handling. I only lasted a few scant seconds, but I remember the horror. I let in our world, whatever that thing I was interrogating was. It was telling the truth about one thing. The being that hunted it was so much more powerful than it was. The worst part was the agonizing, wasn't the agonizing pain. My body being devoured by that thing or even the lingering thoughts of whether I'll be suffering like this forever. No, the worst part was I could vividly hear billions of people screaming in torment as I met, as they met there in... I had mistakenly unleashed it on them. All right. All right, man. Well, that was interrogation. If you want to support this channel, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment on what game you want to see me play next. With that being said, deuce. See me out, don't take a pic. That's offensive. Still wish I took that advice. Better listen. Don't get why they hate. I ain't choose to be gifted. Ain't serving no more. But at times I still miss it. Yeah. And I think they notice, 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 I think they notice.